we head to the WCC and another team who we probably believe and I believe many people also believe that they are going to be the runner away from going to absolutely run away with the conference is Gonzaga. What I'm really interested at is where you have BYU. And I, I know we've talked off air a little bit about this, but you think BYU is going to cause some absolute terror as their last season in the WCC, Steve? Yeah, I, I think there are more bitter rivalries in the WCC than you might think because everybody says, well, well, it's Gonzaga and everybody else. I mean, certainly St. Mary's um, a good program, had a great recruiting class coming in. But I think BYU, it, I think they want to go out and say, okay, you know, not only are we going to make your life miserable this last year we're here in the conference, we want to show uh, the deepest and best conference in college basketball, the Big 12, that when we come in, we're not going to be pushovers. We're not going to be shoe-ins. So I think BYU is going to have a surprisingly good year. I think they could very well sneak into the tournament. I didn't make them a bubble team, but I could see them sneaking into the tournament um, and maybe knock St. Mary's into the NIT. Ooh, interesting. I think St. Mary's is going to be good. That's why I got them at number two, and I agree with you. I think they have a really good recruiting class. I think they can find that number two spot. Having a number two in a WCC with a team as great as Gonzaga is is almost like winning the WCC, to be honest, for, for teams yeah. two through 10, because you know that Gonzaga is up there and we don't know if Gonzaga is going to continue off in the WCC here in the future where there's a lot of rumors passing by. So finding yourself a solidified number two in the WCC is, is no thing to be upset about right now and could set you up for maybe a possible NCAA tournament or at least a really nice spot in the NIT. You know, I just want to mention San Diego as well. I mean, I'm mm -hmm. a lot higher on them than you are. I think Steve Evan is going to make a huge difference at the head of that program. That's why I have them in there at number four. I, I think they're going to win games in February that teams like St. Mary's um, or BYU might say, oh, God, we should have had this one. But I really think that as the season goes on, San Diego is going to uh, solidify itself as a uh, top four team in this conference. Just because we think Gonzaga is going to run away at this conference doesn't mean it's going to be a bad one. So really some good games to pay attention to here in the WCC.